Now, Tata hasn't always been the most enthusiastic of brands. Yes, in terms of bringing the car to the masses, it has been revolutionary for the Indian car market. But when it comes to bringing performance cars to the Indian car market, well, that's not always been their forte. Now, yes, you can say that the Tata Safari are kind of like enthusiast cars in terms of off-roading, but when it comes to uh, enthusiast car, I'm referring to performance cars, mainly hatchbacks. And this is the latest creation in terms of tapping into the enthusiast market, the Altros iTurbo. Now when it comes to the looks, I think the Altros is probably the best looking car in the segment. It has very, very attractive elements in terms of its design. I love the way the headlights look. I love these haunches over here on the front fender. And I love the back end as well. It looks very futuristic and very sharp. And as you can see from the absolute filth that is on the car, we have used it thoroughly and we've used it in the most harshest of, con of conditions possible. We used it in traffic. We used it in kind of a bad off-roady kind of situation. We used it on the highway. We used it, we've used it almost in every possible condition and possible weather condition that is there in India and well it has fared very well with it. Some other details that I really like are first of all these wheels, diamond cut wheels, four spokes, look pretty good. I like the way the wing mirrors are and I like the fact that the roof is also blacked out. Now Tata has done some very clever styling cues with the Altros which give it a slight edge over the competition when it comes to design. First off, there is a big black design element that runs beneath the window line which gives off this illusion that the Altros is a very low car and is very sporty. Then the rear passenger door handles are integrated very smartly into the door and these doors can be opened at a complete 90 degree angle. Coming to the back, like I said, I love the way the back end looks. I especially like this tail light design that they've done. A very aggressive cut over here and it makes it look very futuristic and makes it look like the headlight is floating if you see it from a certain angle. Uh, you also get a rear view camera and the Altros badging over here. Uh, underneath the Tata logo, you'll find a button and that's how you open up the boot 345 liters of boot space and we've put it to the test because we were carrying 96 liters worth of water of water bottles in the car and well as you can see there's ample amount of space and you get a parcel tray now in the interior it is pretty visible that we have thoroughly use this car because I mean almost each and every cubby hole, each and every crevice is filled with some sort of trash or water bottle or camera equipment. Don't worry Tata, I'll try to clean all of this up before I hand the car over. Definitely the trash, don't worry about it. But yeah, it's a very practical interior. The door bins are very large and can hold a lot of stuff inside. Uh, currently it's filled with trash. I'm so sorry, I feel very bad for it. Uh, apart from that, I love the way the steering wheel looks. A flat bottom steering wheel and a proper 9 and 3 position for your hand grips and it's a very practical steering wheel Tata has used a lot of thinking behind designing the steering wheel because the horn can be accessed by doing this as well so it's a very nice feature you don't have to actually put your hand in the middle over here you have your cruise control uh, buttons over here on the right hand side volume calls and everything over here on the left some other positive highlights about the Altros would be the super comfortable seats. The cushioning is very soft and you sink right into the seat and they are Tata's premium leatherette seats so they look good and feel really nice too. You get a 7 inch digital instrument cluster which has an analog speedometer on the side. The clarity is good, it isn't very laggy at all and has some really quirky animations as well. You get rain sensing wipers, automatic headlamps, rear AC vents and the Altros can be specced in two different interior colours, a black and grey theme and a dark theme with ambient lighting in both. Then comes a 7 inch Harman infotainment system with IRA or ERA connectivity. And I think so this is where Tata has taken the biggest L because this infotainment system could have been much better. It does have Android Auto and Apple CarPlay but it's wired. Uh, not going to complain about it because it's a entry level hatchback basically. But the thing that I would like to have is that at least the UI which the infotainment system has is smooth. The infotainment system in and of itself looks very old and ancient like the animations and everything. It's very slow, very laggy. 
I mean most of the time you do use Android Auto and Apple CarPlay so it's not that big of a deal but still I would like to have a much more crisp display and that's where I think so the Altros falls short when it comes to the i20 but overall I think so the Altros is more spacious than an i20 or even a Baleno I would say like the back seats are very spacious you have tons and tons of light coming in because of these massive windows and yeah I think so it's a very comfortable place to be in and it's a very spacious place also to be in. So when we took delivery of this car, it had done around 12,800-ish kilometers. Uh, but now when I'm driving it, we've done 13,450 kilometers. So yeah, we've driven it quite a lot. And the time it has been with it, it has, it has been a daily driver. We've used it as a utility vehicle. And as you saw from the shots and everything, it has been absolutely thrashed and abused. But it has held up very well. And I have to say, the Tata Altros is one of the most comfortable cars in the segment. The i20, the now long gone Polo and all of the other cars like the Baleno in the segment don't even compare to how comfortable this car is. First of all, the suspension is absolutely amazing. I have to say this is like a Rolls Royce in this segment. The suspension is so comfortable that you basically don't feel potholes, you don't feel speed breakers and our time with it which was in Mumbai this has been an amazing daily driver. It is super comfortable and it's very easy to maneuver around in the city streets. And one more thing that adds to the comfort are these really nice seats. They have a great design to them. They have good bolstering. It's very comfortable to drive in this car in harsh city conditions. And moreover, when we were in Mumbai, the conditions of Mumbai are absolutely horrible right now. The roads are basically non-existent the speed breakers are as big as uh, Mukesh Ambani's house and well the rain was absolutely insane you couldn't see what's in front of you and the lights on this car are very helpful like I said suspension is very comfortable so after a long day of work when we sat in this car we felt comfortable we felt relaxed and that's a very good quality to have it was basically a utility vehicle for us a few other features that I really like is the start-stop function, uh, very helpful, saves you a little bit of fuel, uh, definitely something uh, that adds on to the features list of this car and apart from that, yeah, it's a pretty comfortable little car to drive around in. Is it an enthusiast car? Well, that's a question that I don't think can be answered in a video like this. We definitely have to take it to a more dynamic place like a little go-kart track or something like that. But through our experience of driving it, this is definitely not an enthusiast car by any means. Yes, it does have a turbo badge on the back of the car, but that does not mean that this turbo is made for performance purposes. I think it's just a turbo made for getting a little bit better pick up in the lower RPMs so that you don't have to actually stress the engine in terms of getting to where you want to get. Um, it's definitely not a performance engine. Uh, it's a 1.2 litre three cylinder engine which has been picked up from the Tata Nexon and dropped into the Tata Altros. This is basically the same formula that they used while creating the Tiago JTP which was a proper little performance hatchback but unfortunately the Altros iTurbo isn't an enthusiast car. The 5-speed manual is a good addition because it gives you a lot of control and this is a weird manual transmission. Everyone in the team really like using this manual transmission because the clicks and the throw is really nice but it has this weird rubbery feeling which can definitely be overlooked if you're looking particularly for a manual and that is something that's very difficult to find in the segment now because the Baleno doesn't come with a turbo now and you get a 5-speed manual but it's not the best 5-speed manual and the i20 does come with a turbo but doesn't get a proper manual transmission it gets that boring crappy IMT transmission so this is definitely a one-up for Tata because if you're looking for a turbocharged five-speed manual this is the car to have. The Altros gave us some decent fuel economy throughout our trip more than 650 kilometers in distance and the Altros gave us an overall fuel efficiency rating of around 13.4 kmpl with highway cruising bumper to bumper traffic and crawling in the city.
not bad some other quirky features that we enjoyed of the altros were the two driving modes city and sport pop the altros into sport mode and everything becomes red and serious in the instrument cluster and along with that the throttle response just becomes that tiny bit more sharp as well then was the express cooling function which is basically on the click of a single button turns the blower all the way up and reduces the cabin temperature to its lowest setting for the quickest cooling possible so now we have deduced the altros i turbo isn't a through and through enthusiast car but it definitely has the characteristics to become one we enjoyed the handling of the altros and even at high speeds of over 150 kilometers an hour which we tested on mexico highways it felt planted and stable Of course Tata has focused a lot on the safety aspect of the Altros and the Altros has scored a 5 star GN cap rating which makes it the safest hatchback in India. The formula for it being an enthusiast hatchback is there with its sleek and muscular design elements, 5 speed manual transmission, handling and stability like European cars and an engine that has a turbo slapped on it. I think it is time for Tata to revive the JTP brand and create an Altros JTP. to go head to head with the likes of the i20 n line please tata please thank you so much for watching this video subscribe to our channel like this video and share this video with your friends and comment down below if tata should revive the jtp brand to create the altros jtp this is som saraf and i'll see you in the next one